Hey guys, it's Percy here today. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited to play more Sims 4 with you. So sit back, relax, and grab a snack. I'm not sponsored, but I personally suggest that you grab a bag of Flamin' Hot Puffs or Funyuns and send your taste buds on a wild ride. All right, guys, let's get into the video. Hey guys, we are building today, and we're not just building any regular old house today. No, no, no. This is something special, okay? This is top tier top notch building mm, yes <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so um i basically reached out to laura blythe sims um because i watch her 100 baby challenge if you're not watching her 100 baby challenge then um you're missing out go watch it i love it all right amber personally she's my queen i love her we love her some amber okay um and i reached out to laura and i was just like <sighs> I want to build a 100 baby home, but I don't want to play the 100 baby challenge because I could never. Um, listen, I hate toddlers in this game. When they added it to the game, I actually cried tears of sadness because I enjoyed skipping from baby to child. Um, I don't like toddlers in this game. I didn't like them in The Sims 3. I don't like them. I don't like them, okay? So I'm never going to play that challenge, but I still want to build a 100 baby home. So I was like, can I build you one? And she, um, she agreed. And I was like, yes. So I built a 100 baby home uh, for Miss Larissa. Um, is she actually going to play in it? I don't know. I don't care. I just need an excuse to do a 100 baby home, okay? And so when I asked her, I was, like, asking her, like, what style, blah, 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 blah. And, like, she was just like, um, no budget. She told me I didn't have to stick to a budget. And she said, Amber likes pink. That's her favorite color. And she just left it at that. Like, so, uh... I may have went a little crazy with the pink, but um, I like it. <laughs> so it was very pink. So I went with a, like a Cape Cod style home and went with, for the most part, like very traditional furnishings because I feel like, uh, I feel like Larissa really likes like more traditional style homes and more traditional like furnishings. I could be wrong. I just... I, that's my assumption from like watching her videos and like watching what she does. She seems to really like tend to lean towards more like very traditional style homes and furnishings so um I just took that and I ran with it so I was like okay a Cape Cod because she's living in Brindleton Bay and that seemed to really fit this style of this world nicely and also fit Larissa's preference for homes so that's the direction I was going in so very pink it's very very pink um I like I used as much pink as I could it's not as pink on the inside um but it is very pink on the outside. Um, even like all the landscaping is just like mostly pink. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> but one thing about this, uh, when I was building, I kept having major glitches because my game had just updated, and the main glitches were like with the roof. The roof kept like glitching out and like having tears in it. I don't know if that makes sense. And then the wall. The wallpaper specifically on the back of the house kept changing to be like on the like the exterior wallpaper it was acting like the roof was the wall even though I had like put a wall there and it kept changing itself back and forth and it was very frustrating and I think I fixed it but I don't know um I hope it doesn't also like these like vines that I have like up here on this um oh I don't think it's called a canopy whatever <laughs> Those vines that are like all placed, that like lift up and all placed, they kind of stay all the time. They're, they're kind of in your line of sight when you're in the front of the house. It's kind of annoying. Honestly, I, if, if I was playing in this house, I would buy this house. I would like look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I would instantly get rid of those because they're kind of annoying. Like I would delete them because like honestly, when I play my game, the walls are always cut away. Like I almost never see the exterior of the house. I often forget what my houses that I'm living in look like because I just never <laughs> look at them from the outside. So I would get rid of those, honestly, truly. Um, but, like, they made the house just look more detailed and nice on the gallery, so I added them. But if I was playing in here, I would actually get rid of it. And then, of course, you can't have fences or walls on the very edge of the lot, so I had to, like, put a bunch of rocks and, like, plants right there to make it look like it didn't just abruptly stop like the fence like I could I have like the fence around all those trees um I thought it was good enough and then these fountains I really like them um when I originally made this fountain that's not the shape I pictured in my head but for some reason I couldn't execute the shape I wanted in real life and I just rolled with that star I was like yep okay <laughs> well this is fine <laughs> whatever and I was struggling to like landscape I was like okay what kind of landscaping can I do around this fountain 
And um, I, in the end, I think I did okay. Like, because at first, like, I didn't know what I was doing, honey. I was just like, mm mm, this ain't working. And as you can see, look, like, I'm like all the pinky plants, like, as much pink as possible. I was just like, let's throw in some pink, occasionally, like, a little bit of, like, white or yellow. And that's it. Like, I was just like, trying to throw all the pink at Amber. Like, she deserves to live her perfect pink dream, you know? Especially after, look, all the babies she got, she deserved to treat herself. And if you all remember right, as my queen that she is, she, like, put out a fire while in labor. So she truly, truly deserves to just live her best life in her best house, okay? I put a lot of work and effort into the landscaping, something I'm not good at, and, like, the backyard, also something that I tend to neglect. I just don't... Like, I never play in the backyard, I, so I never put that much effort into it. I put, I even put lights out here. Listen, I never put lights on the outside of my house. Again, like, I'm I'm never outside. Like, I don't care. Um, I, I mean, I lit it up, honey. Yes, like I, like, I was putting effort. I wanted her to have the dream, her and her kids. Um, so, yes. <laughs> and, like, as you can see, like, when I see something that I know I want to use later, I just pull it out and put it in, like, the general area I think I'll need it at so that I don't forget because I'll forget. And then just, like, um, giving her a nice outside bar. There's two bars in this house. She got one on the outside, one on the inside. Like, when it's nice weather, she comes outside, she drink by the pool. When it's not good weather, she goes inside. Not really because she's pregnant all the time, but, you know, it's cool. It's nice to have. She can, like you know just give her suitor some drink strengths you know what i'm saying oh my gosh one thing about this building this made me realize just how much i use to get together for building okay i had to ask larissa i was like um hey what packs do you not have or not want me to use and she like doesn't have get together um so many build items in this and that that i use like there was so much i'm talking like I'm talking the vines on the wall. Like, I had to go in the debug and get the ones from university. I'm talking the closets, like, the built-in wardrobes. I'm talking, like, so, like the fire pit. Like, there's so much that I wanted to use from that pack that I could not use because I didn't have it installed. <laughs> and I was just, like, struggling. I was like, ooh, ooh, really making me use creativity here or, like, yeah, like, coming up with backup plans, like, it was just a lot like oh this special area area over here this is um uh, laura blythe always always just has her dates at her house like she just brings her dates to her house so they can make baby <laughs> make baby make babies <laughs> and so i thought we give her like a cute little date area outside so like we got like she's got the bed with the fairy lights hanging around it she's got the privacy there's like gonna be like a private table where they can sit and have dinner or drinks at with lots of beautiful lighting around it there's a beautiful fountain they can sit around and get romantic at there's just it's just beautiful back here like it is just perfect like look at that like just yes all her like like she has not like now she doesn't have to like have all her dates on her front porch <laughs> and she can like be far away from the kids because the kids be kind of you know, annoying her while she's trying to do her thing, while she's trying to, you know, uh, get the romance on and popping with her next baby daddy, the kids being away. Now she can just come out here, be secluded, be away from those kids, you know what I'm saying, and um, get it on and popping, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So that was my idea. I thought she, needed, I thought something fun back here like that would be cool to do, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And then we even gave the kids a play area, obviously on the complete opposite end of the yard as the date area. We don't want them being over there. No, no, no. <laughs> and they even had a pink pirate ship. So I was like, oh, this is perfect for Amber's kids. So we got a pink pirate ship. Honey, we got everything these kids could need. We got everything, okay? Like, this is just beautiful. I personally really like this house. Um, in my bias, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't make it a not good house, okay? It's still good, okay? Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. This one keeps telling myself. <laughs> you know what? I cut out most of the landscaping for this house, and still, there's still a lot of landscaping in here. There's so much that got cut out. In total, this uh, footage was over six hours long, and I got it edited down to 17 minutes. That's crazy, y'all. We haven't even gone to the inside yet. And, oh, there was so much I had to cut out because this is 16 times the speed of the footage, and it still was very long. So I still had to cut out so much. It was ridiculous. Look at all these pretty lights. It's so pretty back here, guys. Like, oh, I never do cute back, 
yard areas but that is so cute cut out all the floor plans look i had to cut things out i was just like we ain't got time i cut out two out of the three bathrooms in this house like uh, i cut out half of the downstairs it was getting so long like oh there's like a a study room and a playroom i cut both both that out like the footage of it because i like i couldn't fit it in it the video was like so long and the footage was already being sped up so fast and i really didn't want to speed it up faster than 16 like that's kind of fast if you ask me like i'm gonna make somebody dizzy <laughs> this is um the entryway very large entryway um i like it though i think it's a very cute entryway very pink um you know, that's the theme of the house. Very pink. <laughs> very pink and white. I went very, very pink and white for the most part. Um, occasionally, I, off I offered. Occasionally, I did some other wood tones because I did... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I didn't want it to be all pink and white all throughout. Like that desk, I add, like I introduced some... A different... Like a light wood tone in there. And in the kitchen and dining room, I, int I, off I offer up... Oh, my gosh. Why do I keep trying to say offer? I um used darker wood tones like I just you know I was trying um I, I was trying okay like I really like this house it is a little under furnished it is so hard for me to like furnish and clutter up houses period let alone like massive places like this like it's very massive but I like it like that um it means your game won't lag like super crazy when you load this lot I mean it might already lag and imagine if it was like super super cluttered and Amber's a classic lady and she don't want just anything in her house just for the sake of clutter okay like she wants her place to look good honey okay she, she doesn't care about your need for clutter okay okay <laughs> the kitchen I really like the kitchen I think I wish I had picked different bar stools for the island um but that's all right um, you guys can change it. Laura can change it if she doesn't like it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, two of those bar stools are obviously not functional because they're not snapped in place. But I just thought the huge gap in between the three chairs was a little ridiculous, so I added some more bar stools. And um, yeah. So as you, like I said, I add, I mm, introduced darker wood tones in this room, and I kind of yeah. Like I wish the bar stools I I had changed. They're very fancy, whereas like the rest of it isn't very fancy so it kind of they're kind of out of place so i kind of wish i had one a different route but that's all right um we all make mistakes um yes yes <laughs> and then the kitchen isn't super pink um I definitely could have made it much much more pink than it is but i chose not to um don't ask me why i just didn't okay i was just like i didn't think it needed to be super pink in here the bathrooms are all really pink um i used that pink towel in all the bathrooms on all the walls so that's fun that's exciting you get to see this bathroom this is the only bathroom you get to see because once i realized that whoo honey this footage is whoo long i was like okay i'm gonna have to really start making cuts <laughs> so making cuts i did honey i did yes indeed um and as you can see, look at that super pink bathroom. We love to see it. I know I do. Um, and yes. Oh, this rug. I've never seen that rug. One thing about this pink thing is I discovered so many cute swatches. Like the rugs in pink, some of them are gorgeous. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have never seen this swatch in my life. And so like, I feel like I'm going to use that pink rug all the time now. It's so cute. Here's her indoor bar. I think I accidentally used the wrong island counter for that bar, but um, that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the dining room is like super empty, but um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't think it needed that much more. Um, if I sound weird, it's because my sinuses are acting up, and I'm trying not to like do the like clear them out while I'm recording. I know you guys don't want to hear that. That will sound kind of gross. Oh, and that rug in the dining room, you missed it because the footage is going by so fast gorgeous i will oh my gosh i can't wait to find another reason to use that rug like it's gorgeous i'm obsessed with it why have i never seen that before oh, it's because i don't like the color pink so i like almost never use it oh excuse me and so all those swatches are like just going over my head you know this side of the this wing of the house was massive i i originally was going to have it like mostly all open i realized that i needed to break that up because i was like i don't know how i'm going to fill this space otherwise and look at that cute little pink chest in the living room like for storage i was like that is so cute like oh my gosh like i love it you know what i should have recorded this voiceover with my sister she loves the color pink and i feel like she would have really enjoyed watching me build an all pink house but um 
it is what it is. It's too late. I'm not going to call her. And I'm not going to redo the <laughs> voiceover. I'm not. <laughs> so I'll build her, uh, her her own special pink house and she'll get to come on. The youngest one, Maya. Maya Mama, as I call her. Here's the taller room. Um, yeah, this bed, this house could obviously be lots of bedrooms, but I just like master bedroom, toddler room, kids room. Like, that's it. Um, cause honey, I wasn't finna make individual rooms for all those kids, especially cause they just being psychoed out. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as she ready to get pregnant again, she gonna move the next one out. And it, like, I just ain't got time. Mm -mm, I didn't. I really didn't. <laughs> Okay, okay. I like the kids' room. I like, I mean, I just like the house. So, I mean, I guess I'll just keep, I like this, I like that. Obviously, duh, you built it. Shut up, okay? <laughs> but listen, I'm allowed to like my own builds, okay? Gosh, I can be narcissistic a little bit, just a tiny bit, okay? Mm, narcissism is good, kids, okay? Keep that in mind. Just kidding. <laughs> it is not good to be narcissistic, okay? Okay. Yep, cut out the bathroom. Master bedroom, master bedroom. Sorry. Um, yeah, I wanted to use the wardrobes from Get Together, and I realized here and in the kids' bedroom that I couldn't, and so I had to improvise. As <laughs> so I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I can't do what I need to do. Um, changing out to more expensive grand piano downstairs and just adding stuff around. Um, master bedroom, massive. I love her though. I love the. Yeah, I love the room dividers to separate the space. Um, I think her room is gorgeous. I love it. I really do. I I think it's super, super cute. Mm -hmm. And I'm aware that those lights are different sizes. One needed to be... I like that. I just like the asymmetry of it. Um, feel free to change it. Those lights may be in a room in the way of her getting into her bed, so you may need to delete the lights if she can't get into her bed. Um, cause I did not play or test this build. No, ma'am, I did not. I couldn't be, oh, mm -mm. I spent so much time and I need, I'm also pre-recording this week for when I go to St. Louis on Friday. So I can get married. I'll be in St. Louis for, an, for a week and I'm also getting married in St. Louis. So I'll be gone and I didn't want to go a whole week without videos. So I'm pre-recording on top of working on top of recording regular videos. So listen, I just player testing. It just was not, I couldn't do it. Not today. Um, I just could not. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I didn't play or test it for you, but I love you. It's not a reflection of my love for you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here's some screenshots, and then we're going to uh, quickly go into a tour. So I'll see you guys at the tour. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, see you soon. <laughs> okay, guys. Um... Let's do a, yep, mm -hmm, let's do that. <laughs> let's do a uh, quickity quick tour of uh, this beautiful pink Cape Cod home. Um, let me tell you, the outside is, oh, that camera kind of fast. Very under furnished, very under furnished. But that's okay, we ain't, we ain't, oh my gosh, I'm hitting stuff. We ain't worried about that, fam. Like, we ain't even tripping. Tell me I ain't tripping. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me because I'm tired. So much recording. Here is our beautiful entryway. Honestly, this is like such a spacious, large entryway. Like, it's kind of massed. It's kind of ridiculous. Through here is Miss um, Amber's office. Um, beautiful, beautiful. You love to see it. I know I do. Um, yes, yes. This house is not like super cluttered um, because it's so big. Okay. I don't know how to make the camera go faster, honestly, truly. Uh, so we, we might be here a while. <laughs> Here's our main living room. Um, yes, y'all. Again, not super furnished, but it gets the job done. It gets her done, honey. Okay? Don't even worry about it. Don't even at me. There's our second piano. There's our beautiful future wall. Future wall? Future wall of vines. And here, I didn't put this footage in the video because it was oh y'all don't even understand how the editing was going but here is a homework room for the kids we got some projects on the floor um just like a lot of workspace yes honey yes okay and then i'm not gonna go around through here we have a playroom for the kids um all the toys you could ever need honey okay this is kid and toddler friendly okay is it teen friendly mm, not as much but um listen the way that Larissa is going about her let's play they don't even get to grow up as teenagers in the house she be kicking them out boy because she be trying to get pregnant so 
We don't need a teen-friendly home, okay? We just need it to be friendly for the kids and the toddlers. Here is our kitchen. Um, yep. <laughs> Here's our kitchen. Not as pink. Not as pink. Um, I wanted to tone it down. I didn't, I didn't want all pink tiles, okay? I just didn't. Here's our beautiful dining room. I love that rug that's in here. It's so cute. Okay, if I do say so myself, I think it's bomb.kizzycom, okay? I don't know what kizzycom is, but it's that much of a bomb. Like, come on. Should we go outside? I mean, I already headed outside, so I guess so. Um, beautiful seat, seating area. I mean, yeah, you can say eating area. Um, bar. We got a barbecue. Is that barbecue functional? I don't know, honey. I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. Sitting area with a nice fire pit table. We got our beautiful pool. Oh my gosh, over there we have our kids area. Yes, you love to see it. The kids have a place to play. Okay, her kids will never be bored. Um, This is the big feature of the house if we can get over there fast enough, which I really truly don't think we can. I don't know how to speed it up. I know there's a way to do it. Um, You know what? Look. We're just going to do this way. Look, 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 look. Okay, and then we go back into tab mode. Like, wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh, we got here so fast. Here is um, a nice area for her to bring her dates if she wants. Okay, it's nice and romantic in the backyard. It's secluded. We got privacy. We got a bed that they can make babies in. Okay, okay, like everything you can need for a date night, honey. Okay, like, yes. And then, like, look, we're just going to go right upstairs. And we're not even going to worry about the first person tab view. Look, she got her own private hot tub off the master bedroom. I almost said bathroom, honey. Listen, don't worry about it. I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> Here's her bathroom. Okay, super cute. Here's the toddler's bedroom, honey. Yes, look at that. Super large landing. We got an extra TV space for the kids, okay, or the toddlers. Here's the main bathroom. And then here's our kids' bedroom, okay? Okay, oh my gosh, look at that. Yes, just, just, just. And here's the house in all its glory. We're in the middle of a heat wave, but still. Um, yeah, look at all these vines on here. It's a lot. Well, anyways, <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much, Laura Blythe Sims, for letting me build you this beautiful house. If you don't like it, if you don't play in it because it's super annoying, I understand. No hard feelings because I still had a ton of fun making this house. Okay, okay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Percy again. I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like the video with a big red thumbs up from all those flaming Hot Puffs you were eating. Don't be afraid to subscribe. And if you really want to make my day, follow me on Twitter at Percy, not Percy. And no matter what, I hope you had a fan flip fantastic day. Bye.